हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुरील जॉर्ज योर इंग्लिश टीचर फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व दिस एकेडमिक सेशन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेक्शन बी राइटिंग स्किल्स ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप दिस पोस्टर ड्राइंग व्हिच मेनी ऑफ यू मे फाइंड इंटरेस्टिंग स्पेशली दोज हु ड्रॉ एंड पेंट वेल चिल्ड्रन पोस्टर यू नो इज एन इफेक्टिव एंड अ वेरी पावरफुल विजुअली अट्रैक्टिव यू नो something that is drawn and it's a way of making an announcement or an appeal advertising a product or bringing about awareness among the people on any topic of public interest this poster that you're seeing children is one drawn drawing the attention of the public to save water uh, highlighting the importance of saving water uh, you will be seeing here children you know uh, where a poster is made it's mandatory that you need to draw at least one visual the visual can be either a direct visual or something that is relevant you know, right in this case you'll find uh, a tap and uh, water coming out of the tap and falling into a bucket which is placed under it now this is a visual which is relevant now just below that you'll find the slogans that is written you know conserve water every drop is precious Uh, just above that water is precious water is life shortage of water uh, affects all forms of life leads to food shortage pollutes atmosphere uh, spreads diseases uh, puts extra burden on women and children and carries of water achieve water security now see they've highlighted it they've used a different font you see the size of the font there the font is different now whatever according to you deserves attention you need to change the font the font needs to be bigger you can change the font size and also the font style now if you remember what i told you in the beginning one is to draw a relevant visual number two is change the font style and the corner importance of the message that you are giving and then slogans you can also write vertical or horizontal slogans and right at the bottom uh, it will be you'll draw a line and write who is issuing that poster it it will be a part of the question like in this case it is issued by conserve water society new delhi it may be an ngo uh, you may be asked to issue one on the behalf of a government or an ngo or even on a on behalf of a private company so according to the question you have to draw the poster uh, you must have seen so many posters uh, children all around you when you step out of the house you'll find them you know put all over the walls stuck all over the walls you know you'll find even politicians pasting uh, posters all over the walls during election times uh, ngos posting uh, pasting posters over the wall you know, but it's drawn for a pur- particular purpose you know even religious organizations they spend a lot of money on the production and display of catchy posters event managers uh, advertising agencies public relations health departments you know, environment protection and conservation agencies you know they all make extensive use of posters right so posters are designed keeping in view the the target audience you should know exactly the kind of audience that you wish to target visuals and slogans are chosen accordingly uh, there are posters for sales you know you have posters for exhibitions for fetes for fashion shows concerts cultural programs religious purposes all different kinds uh, the purpose you need to understand the purpose uh, is it is to announce a cultural show or an exhibition or a workshop or a fair etc second uh, it may be to make the public aware about some problem or it can even be to warn or caution against some danger okay the layout children the layout has to be very very important a poster should be eye catching see if the poster is not eye catching the purpose is not achieved you know it should have a catchy title in the form of a slogan or a jingle uh, it should have some attractive sketch or visual uh, it should use fonts of different sizes like i told you then the content children the content again is very important the theme or the subject should be clear a description related to the subject should be given details like date time venue that is in case of an event that needs to be provided and then the name of the issuing authority must be given like i told you at the bottom the name of the issuing authority has to be given 
Right. And uh, other than that, you have a few other guidelines which you should be keeping in mind when you are designing a poster. You should be brief, but be clear. Right. Uh, make your poster attractive and eye catching. Use appropriate slogans and visuals. Right. It has to be relevant. Then uh, arrange the content in an appealing manner. Uh, it should not be too much overcrowded or haphazard, you know, so that the, you know, if you do that, the purpose is not achieved. Don't forget to name the, uh, mention the name of the issuing authority. Okay. And uh, then other contact details and etc. whatever is required, you need to add that too. And if you do that, you'll be able to make a catchy poster, you know, which everyone is going to look at. Otherwise, the purposes, like I told you, is not achieved. Right, children? So this is one poster. This is just a sample poster. I hope you like it. And if you still have some queries, you can get back to me. I'll be giving you more questions for practice. Right. Thank you so much, children. Thank you.